Hi, good evening. This is the Community Preservation Committee's Monday, September 14th meeting. Uh, tonight we have a quorum in attendance, myself, Tom Hickey, the chair, our vice chair, John Kemet, Bill Clemens, Patty Norton, and Eric Olson. We may be joined by other members of the committee. I thank members of the committee for getting together on short notice. Our, our agenda tonight uh, includes discussion of potential articles that could be placed on the uh, special town meeting warrant. I was, uh, I was sent an email by our town administrator wondering if the committee looked to take a position on any of the articles that had been underway, um, including some that were uh, maybe had some recent developments that I'm hoping Phil would be able to advise on. Uh, my sense is that uh, with no documentation provided to committee members on this short notice, the most that we would do tonight that I would be seeking a motion on tonight would be to uh, to have a placeholder for uh, one or more of these projects and likely would lead to us having a, uh, a follow-up meeting perhaps in the next week to see if any of these applications would be completed and uh, allow the committee some time between now and the town meeting uh, to review and take a more formal vote on. So. Um, limit the agenda just to these these items and I'll list them for you. The first one is the trails grant, which Phil would be able to speak to. And then there's also something referencing the uh, Plymouth County Hospital Park article, which I'll also ask Phil to comment on. And then there's the uh, the middle school field design item. So Phil, if, uh, if it's all right with you, can I turn it over to you to talk about the trails grant? Uh, as I look back through the as I look back through the minutes of our our last pre-COVID meeting in March, uh, this was something that was uh, briefly talked about on that agenda, and um, I'll I'll, le I'll leave it to you to fill in some additional details now. Sure. Um, as I recall back from that long ago meeting, uh, we may have reached the point where we had a part A of the application for funding for uh, to help match the trails grant uh, funding. Um, backing up a bit further, we were successful in obtaining a $100,000 uh, state grant for, from the Recreational Trails Program for the Park Perimeter Trails uh, Project on the eastern edge of the Plymouth County property. And that would be, uh, that was, uh, received a lot of uh, support, but we didn't know formally about the grant uh, approval until July. So, uh, all we could do during the spring was wait anyway. Uh, I do, I could stand to be corrected if I'm wrong, but I thought we had done a Part A application for CPC on that. Uh, I am concerned that even if we did the Part A, whether we do or, or might not have time to do a, the Part B application for this uh, in, prior to town committee, because our process, as we all know, calls for uh, CPC to approve it and the Board of Selectmen to approve it and then town meeting to approve it. And I believe I saw a, an announcement that town meeting will be October 3rd. And also that would mean that the town meeting warrant would be closing extremely soon and certainly well before October 3rd. I, uh, I just feel there's a real compressed time issue in this year when everything is more difficult than we wish. Um, not sure how, if, if for one thing, whether the Part A uh, approval could be uh, commented on, Tom, by, by you or anyone else on the committee uh, with reference to past minutes. And also, uh, I wonder if others share my concern about being able to do Part B. I think we can still do the project, uh, even if Part B has, uh, the approval has to wait for uh, uh, next spring, but I'm concerned about trying to rush it now. Thank, thanks for that summary, Phil. Um, I'll, if I may, I'll, I, I don't, I don't, uh, I don't know if the minutes reflected um, a reference to Part A, but um, I'll, I'll certainly uh, Patty or Eric or John weigh in. But I, I would tend to agree. I think, I think my my personal reaction was, would this grant be in jeopardy? And if it's not in jeopardy as a result, I, I would definitely see this as very compressed timeline. The, the selectmen are voting tomorrow. Uh, on on warrant articles. If this could wait to the spring, that would give committee and yourself more time to uh, put it together. 
Yeah, I do I not think this would put it in jeopardy, but uh, I'm sorry, I'll certainly listen to others too. Hey, Patty. I have a question. There's already something on Article 5 for approving $30,410 from the Community Preservation Committee reserve funds to pay for the local share of the state matching trail grant. They already have that on Article 5. Then I guess I stand I stand to have my memory refreshed in, in a pretty big way about whether we uh, achieved Part A or maybe even did achieve Part B approval of this grant. It seems like so long ago, and I am sorry to not have all the research on those minutes at my fingertips. Um, Tom, I think that's key to whether we go forward with you and uh, can can rightfully support the article that, that Patty was just quoting. I have not seen the warrant, but that does sound like the uh, the sort of thing that our action would lead to. Uh, the mm -hmm. state grant for 100K is there, but the budget for the project is about 130 or a bit more. And so those numbers would match, but our process, our committee's process for A and B is what my question is. Sure. Uh John or Eric, do you want to weigh in on this? Yeah, I, I just want to say, I think this project is extremely important. And I know we have rules that we're supposed to follow and um, protocols for length of time and stuff. But I think um, this project, I, I know we talked about it and I think uh, we already approved this. That's my, that was my assumption. I was thinking I guess the my same thinking, thing. I was thinking, if we approved it, then we've got a document or two or three somewhere that, that says that. I just do not have those at my fingertips. I, I, I wish I did, I'm sorry to say. Well, that's okay, Phil. I've, we've got Shirley on the call as well. And, and if I may, Shirley, not to put you on the spot, but um, I was looking at, um, would you happen to have access to the minutes of our March meeting? Um, that, that's the, um, I, have it, I have the trails, uh, I made a note here in my notes, park perimeter trail. Um, mm -hmm. I'm wondering if, as a result of that, we may have uh, taken some action. To, while, while Shirley's looking at that, to John, John's point, um, I, I think it's still within, you know, and someone can correct me, I think, I think it is within our, our, uh, the scope of our authority that uh, if we were to waive portions of this application process, we're not bound to it by the legislation or something that is above the, you know, the, the authority of the committee. Um, while it's something that we wouldn't do very often, um, it's, I, I believe it's something that we could in fact act on even with an incomplete application. Um, I, I like the sound of that. I do agree with, with what John said about, uh, the importance of this. Um, it's not every project, but certainly this one has received, uh, strong support from every angle. Um, I believe there was, I believe the selectmen are well aware of this too, uh, especially where um, the vice, um, not the vice chair, the vice chair of the community, of, of, I'm sorry, of the Plymouth County Committee is a selectman, uh, Matt Dyer. And what we have is uh, there was a thorough grasp of the project gained in the application process that we filed in June which um, the selectmen approved and John Stanbrook signed, and you know, there's a contract in place for that $100,000. Uh, this would be um, a significant part of the town's match. Um, even though I think the grant wouldn't be uh, full, uh, seriously jeopardized, um, it might be somewhat jeopardized if, if, we didn't, if we couldn't push this through right now. And uh, I push through is the wrong word, it's simply to approve it right now. I think that that's it's it's uh, the project is well understood. The the hurdle that I'm speaking of, Tom, as you said, is one of our own making. The process for this committee to make its decisions. Correct. Uh, Can I ask a question when when you're ready? I just have a quick question. Uh, if we don't have the pot B, uh, one thing I would recommend and suggest is that we uh, get a copy of that before. The town meeting so that we can review it uh, prior to the meeting you know since we're going to be voting on that uh and the other thing is um although we always welcome you know the selective support on our warrants we don't require them to vote on them the legislation a lot makes those um go through anyway whether they like it or not 
Tom? Yes, Shirley. Th thank you, yeah. John. Yes, Shirley. At the um, March meeting, which was the last one I think we had, but before the pandemic, yeah, it said I don't. The it said that Phil had said that he would submit the Part B before the next meeting. So we were huh. waiting. We had never gotten that from him. I think I think you approved a pre-app, but I don't. He was saying that he would get that ready and that he'd have it ready prior to the next meeting for the um, members to review. So that's that does weird. sound like that does sound like a match to my memory. I just didn't know for sure where it was. Um, we've we've all had a, a pretty challenging six months or so, and uh, I'll put myself in uh, not only the challenging but the uh, there was also some special circumstances there, but um, yeah, I, I think what John said is true though too. If we formulate, uh, despite this this time frame, if we formulate the equivalent of a Part B, so that we are prepared to uh, speak to why we support this and why we're putting it forward, and why we think it's good to already have it on the warrant, and we invite the voters to agree with us also. Um, Perhaps we can achieve this after all. Thank, thank you, Phil. Uh, we want to say hello to Teresa, who's joining us uh, uh, remotely as well. Uh, Teresa, we're we're speaking about the uh, the park perimeter trail application that was done partially. What we're what we're discussing is the the merits of uh, possibly entertaining a motion to recommend this to the special town meeting. Uh, <clears throat> without having a completed part B under the circumstances. Uh, and that's just what we're, just what we're uh, discussing um, so as to not um, lose the opportunity. Although while Phil is not convinced that it would damage the opportunity, it is something that the committee has talked about. I, I, would, I would just add that as I'm look, I happen to have a copy of the part B application just as a memory aid. The, you know, the, we we know from all the time we spent building the application that there's a the section on procurement, the section on matching funds, the section on a proposal narrative that includes the need and outcomes of the project, value for the town, how it's compatible with CPA goals, how it links to a town plan, uh, if it's a collaboration, who is it a collaboration with? It sounds as though the elements of this have been discussed, and as Bill is pointing out, the, uh, the other governing boards are certainly aware of it. So um, I'm, open, I'm open to uh, a, a motion from, from the committee uh, if we wish to take action on it one way or the other. It's uh, already on the town board, Article 5. Okay. In that, in that case, especially with, with what, what Patty is, is citing from the, the draft warrant, um, I would offer a motion uh, to this committee that uh, that we vote to approve the uh, action to, to dedicate um, thirty thousand dollars from the appropriate uh, community preservation uh, fund to be applied to the park perimeter project. The warrant or recommend, makes recommend, recommend approval. Okay, and Phil, Patty's going to uh, ask you to amend that to match the exact amount. Could you say that again, Patty? It's thirty thousand four hundred and ten dollars on the warrant draft. Is that is that acceptable, Phil? That is acceptable. Yes. Okay. Uh, so a motion by Phil to recommend uh, 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 to recommend this project to special town meeting. Is there a second? Can we, can we discuss this first before we move on with this? I think. Um, we, we can, John. If we get a if we get a second on this, then we can either amend the motion or or move ahead. All right, well, I'll second. Oh, then I'll second it. Right. And then we'll try. Thank you. A second by John. John, you want to uh, continue the discussion? Yeah. I think it's a. I think um, we shouldn't go down this road this way. I, I think we need to have at least the application in hand. So you know, for the members that were, aren't present now, uh, and we're voting on this and. You know, I think that we should be able to review something before we vote. That's my only concern. Because, you know, from a transparency perspective, I think we should have that document. And in, in the spirit of that discussion, which, uh, again, that was uh, something very much on my mind as well, the Part A application, which we, we did have back uh, March or just prior, um, what I am 
struggling to recall is how much detail we had put before the whole committee uh, at that point in time, and whether we we had made whether that actually represents significant steps towards the uh, uh, towards accomplishing what John says, uh, full transparency and explanation to the whole committee. Um, part A, I believe, was before us, and that's what I think I've heard earlier just now. Well, I think we I think we um, discussed this at length. At, at several meetings uh, over a yeah. period of time, I, I don't think anyone in the committee has any doubts about the validity of this this application and you know uh, what it represents. I just think it's important that we have that paperwork so the members that aren't present uh, will have some kind of a record and and you know that we can at least say this is what we voted on because we're actually voting on um, a, a mystery document, you know. So, and I'm not asking that, you know, we have to fill this thing out ad nauseum. I'm just saying that I think we should have some kind of paperwork, you know, that, you know, to, at least to, to, so that everyone can see it. And in that spirit, uh, Tom and others, perhaps, um, if we can uh, create within the next seven to eight days a um, uh, a a suitable uh, Part B that can be distributed electronically to every member of the committee. That will, I think, summarize everything that we've said. It would it would fill in the blank, so to speak, on our uh, self-designed uh, process, and perhaps that will meet the goals here. Okay, Phil. We'll uh, I'll turn it over to Teresa, and then we'll we'll talk about what what direction we should take. Um, sorry, I'm very sorry I'm late, I, and I'm sorry if this is a repeat. Is there a reason that, could, what is the reason that we don't have the application in hand at this meeting? The reason we don't have the application for the, for the Part B portion of that is the limitations on my part uh, of fulfilling uh, a number of responsibilities, including many that were completely unanticipated between uh, the March uh, timeframe and now. Uh, there have been some medical things in the family, and we've we've all found difficulty in doing our other responsibilities, uh, even things that used to be easy. Um, the, the simple pro simple fact is I was not able to prepare it before this before this evening. Oh, okay, I, I wasn't laying blame. I, I was just trying to understand the, the 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 process. And and what is the time frame? Why are we having this? Is there some some reason we need to vote today in order for this to remain on the warrant? Or thank you, Teresa. Uh, I, I was uh, contacted by the town administrator just wondering the, about the committee's position. So as I understand it, this is, today is the 14th. So uh, the 15th is when um, they would finalize the warrant. So if I just so that's that was the impetus, Teresa, to to have us try to get together at a minimum, see if the committee was comfortable with placeholders. Now, Patty, Patty commenting earlier that something is already on a warrant is, um, I, I can't speak to exactly how, how that arrived there. I don't believe that that was um, something that we had discussed, but, uh, or that it was brought, brought forward by the committee. So I wonder if maybe a middle ground between what uh, what Phil and John are talking about is that we, that we simply vote to confirm a placeholder for thirty thousand four hundred and ten dollars. In other words, basically confirm as a committee what is already printed, <laughs> and then we we as a committee could schedule a meeting. Um, let's say I'm making this up, but let's say no later than two weeks from today, and uh, that would give Phil. You know, if if the committee members had a few a few days prior. So this is, I mean, this is a Monday night. So if it meant the previous Thursday or Friday, Shirley was sending us this application, mm -hmm. we could get together and take a subsequent vote, and if the committee voted to approve it then uh that's what would stand but this, if the committee did not then we would pass over the article uh at the special town meeting right i would be happy to amend my motion to include the wording uh to um to make it a placeholder and as you just indicated and this is in the spirit of discussion uh, the uh, we all know that if there is some difficulty with an article of any sort um, passing over at town meeting is sort of the ultimate uh, safety valve so that nothing inappropriate uh, is forced onto the public. Right. Uh, okay, so Phil is amending his motion. John, are you okay with uh, seconding that amended motion? Yeah, I'll second that. Okay. Any further discussion? 
Okay, so we'll we'll uh, we'll vote on the amended motion to support a placeholder article for thirty thousand four hundred and ten dollars for the perimeter trail project, and uh, then we will have a subsequent meeting to confirm approval upon review of a completed application. Uh, roll, I'll do a roll call vote. Uh, Bill. Yes. Eric. Is that Eric? Sorry. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. Got his own theme music. <laughs> is that a, is that a yay on the uh, on a yes on the motion to place hold? Yeah, sorry, I was getting a another message coming in. <laughs> no worries, Teresa. Yes. Patty. Yes. On. Yes. And I am a yes as well. Okay, so that is that is unanimous of those present. Thanks very and much. And my task is understood. Thank you. Thank you. And Phil, if I could, uh, if I could take, uh, if I could give the, give it back to you. Um, there's also uh, an item relative to the Plymouth County Hospital Park article. Is that uh, something separate uh, and, and distinct, yes, or was I misreading that? It's separate and distinct from the trail piece. Uh, the trail piece is tied to the state grant, which we know we successfully got. The Plymouth County Hospital Park article. It's uh, it does relate to something under the old business, even though I know we're streamlining tonight. It's a PCH Park Engineering Plan. Um, I feel I really do not want to be out in front of the chair and vice chair of the Plymouth County Hospital Reuse Committee. That's uh, Mr. Ellis and Mr. Dyer. Uh, I can tell you we still do have some funds remaining for park planning from a previous $30,000 CPC uh, funding uh, process. But I don't have wording or anything else to support this, the next round of funding requests. I feel that the, uh, the committee, under the leadership of Mr. Ellis and Mr. Dyer, the ball kind of belongs in that court. Similar to all committees, we have struggled to get back to meeting, and we have, but it has not resulted in the ability to put together a, uh, a formal uh, application for uh, the uh, through CPC for park funding, for park engineering. It might be that the chair and vice chair of that committee have a different funding source in mind besides us. Again, they still, that committee still does have funding, uh, some fraction of it at least, from a previous action by this committee. So I, I don't I know say. that I can offer any action here. Thank you I'm for that update, Bill. Sorry, Patty. Tom. Yes. Uh, Article eight on the town warrant uh, draft that I have today is to see if the town will vote to raise an appropriated transfer from available funds a sum of money to pay for engineering costs related to the park to be located at Old Plymouth County Hospital site. And the explanation states that these funds are needed to design construction plans for the infrastructure and roadways of the proposed park at the former Plymouth County Hospital site located off High Street. And That's that match. I'm you. sorry. Go ahead, Phil. That matches a sense I had that the chair and the vice chair of the committee were, at this point at least in their process, seeking a source of funds other than CPC at this moment. That's what it sounded and, like on this. Yeah. It would supplement the, really the modest amount of remaining funds they already received from mm -hmm. us, but we might uh, be able to take a breather on this one from a CPC standpoint. Fair, fair can enough. I, can I add to this discussion just briefly? I know, I think back in March, we talked about the idea that uh, we could use our administrative funds to assist in that process, and that uh, we worked at increasing those funds this year. Is that true? The, I'm just trying to go back in my memory. Yes, we appropriated $10,000 at the July the July meeting for administrative mm -hmm. funds, as I recall. Right. So I thought, you know, one of the reasons why we would review, you know, how much we were um, asking for so that we could have some funds available so that we could um, add to these engineering funds if needed through our administrative account. I have to look back in the minutes, but I think we did discuss it. Okay. So John, your point your point is that depending on where this goes, if it goes in a non 
DPC direction at town meeting, we have a small amount of discretionary funds we could revisit to support. Yes. Yes. Very good. I think I think that is very much in the spirit of what this committee is about. But uh, the fact that the hospital committee is seeking funds from elsewhere is also in the spirit of, of CPC, <laughs> which is we don't want to carry every load all by ourselves each time. Hmm. So, I would say yeah. I would say based on Phil's summary and and the the direction of that the PCH committee that for now we wouldn't take any action until we're approached. However, we may have some discretionary funds that at any point during the fiscal year this committee could take action and uh, and vote to support and vote to appropriate and and and, and support. Yes. So uh, okay, well thank you for that summary, Phil. Uh, the only other mm -hmm. item that I have is uh, is the uh, I don't have any action to take on it, but I felt as though since we were talking about other article items and this was something that was talked about uh, prior to the pandemic was the uh, the field design article for middle school. Um, as you as you recall, we spent a considerable amount of time and we had a third party engineer um, my uh, work on this to give us as a committee estimates of what design and construction costs would be. For a renovated middle school field, that would be both uh, a natural turf option or an artificial turf option. And I believe where we left off our conversation was that we would eventually want to see a, a complete application uh, from parks and fields, presumably, although the engine behind it would have been our youth sports leagues, predominantly the soccer league, but youth sports and parks and fields. Uh, and that where the committee as a whole left off was uh, that it was desirous to see the Board of Selectmen's position on it as an example of a, of a town board showing support. Uh, again, tonight, the only thing that we would be doing to do as, a, as a committee would be to talk about whether there's enough merit to also include as a placeholder this, uh, this article. Um, and if there is a, if there if, if that does have merit, it would it would likely follow the same the same path, the same trail uh, that Phil has uh, to bring a completed application back to this committee. So I wonder if committee members, uh, as we blow off the dust off the cobwebs here on this, uh, whether you see any wisdom to holding off, uh, or whether or not we want to take a half measure step of a, a placeholder, in the hopes that there would be something. Uh, that might galvanize in in a short period of time. Tom, Tom can I ask a question? Did, Teresa, we did that engineering study, um, but do we have the results of that engineering study? We do. So we have, um, and I'm not sure if I have it right in front of me, but yes, we have in writing the estimated costs, uh, both the potential design costs and the potential construction costs of a. If you bear with me, uh, just replace what's there, um, fix what's there, but have the resulting field be a natural field, a natural grass field, uh, or all the way up to you're going to replace what's there with something that's artificial. And so that I'm sorry, so that, that's I think that's answer your question. Yes, we do, and and we do have some numbers associated with design and construction. And are you able to share those with us in your copious amounts of free time right now? I'm sure you're <laughs> just looking for things to do. <laughs> uh, yes, yes, I would. Um, and I'm looking, I'm looking at some emails going back to December of 2019. Um, and yeah, I, could very, I could very easily, sorry, John. I'm sorry, we have those already. I think you sent those to us. Yes, okay. yes. Yeah, and I think that with Shirley's yeah. help, we could probably we could probably refresh. Um, mm -hmm. But what we wouldn't what we wouldn't have right now, I know that I know that the design costs for this is not a shocker, right? For the design costs for an artificial field would be much more mm -hmm. than the design yeah. costs for a for a natural field. I'm not sure, to be honest, if any entity outside of us has, has approached us with an actual figure. Um, and so that might be, the homework has been done. There is some support 
there is some, and Eric, I don't want to, I, I don't want to put you on the spot, but I think that there was at least some support from Parks and Fields, and I believe, again, going back to some of our old committee minutes, I'm trying to remember the sentiment of, boy, this is, you know, this is a big chunk of money, um, doesn't commit, it doesn't commit the town to procure an engineer for an artificial field if, if there's going to be a robust debate from somebody else later on saying whether they, what kind of field there should be. Our, our role would be, do we think it's a worthwhile expenditure of funds to use CPC funds for, the, for design? And we need to feel comfortable with you know, doing that and, and recommending it, in this case, potentially prior to an October town meeting. So certainly, Teresa, we could get that information back out. Um, for now, for tonight, it's really a matter of, do we want to at least keep door open a little bit to this? Um, as a next step. Well, so, I, I'm sorry, go ahead, Teresa. I was just gonna say, um, you know, Eric, I don't know if you've had other conversations about this and um, unfortunately Pepper's not here, but I did hear him talking about it this weekend um, and wondering if they could get an application in time or at least talk about it. So I know that there's still efforts afoot. Um, I don't know if they could do that before the October meeting, but if there was an opportunity to put a placeholder in and we would know you know, when, if we're going to come and reconsider the park um, uh, application part B anyways, we would be able to definitively say before the meeting whether we would want to move forward or not. I think that that would be worth doing. Thank you, John. All right, so to, I, I think I, I brought this up at, a, at our March meeting is uh, I have deep concerns about the, our ability to fund a, uh, a turf field. Uh, I know some people have discussed that, you know, we could do everything but the field itself, but uh, I don't think it's in sp the spirit of the CPC to support uh, turf fields. And, you know, I kind of brought that up and I would like to get some, um, something from Stuart and the Department of Revenue to be sure that we don't walk into a quagmire because I know there's several lawsuits based on turf fields and, and money that was used by CPC. So I would really like the time to be able to see that application and, and vet that information before I was felt ready to vote on that. If if I could weigh in too, I think that uh, these are good points. Um, I think CPC worked hard to try to help bring into existence the a vision of the options available for that field, which is a field that we own, a field that has been horrendously underused, and a field that needs investment in order to make it usable. And what we don't want to do is get out in front of the, the bodies that actually would uh, manage the use of that field and, and maintain it and so on. We're simply trying to put the vision out there. And it may be, as far as turf fields go, I think I, I recall exactly what John's talking about, that turf fields, the funding of such, is not something that matches the the legislation that brought the, the community preservation into into, into being. Uh, that doesn't mean that design of a field, not knowing what future option you might use for how you surface it, uh, it you know, maybe the prohibition of funding doesn't apply to design of a certain amount of square footage. Uh, if we had a placeholder right now, Again, we could put the brakes on it at any point, either before or during a town meeting. Um, again, I think we want to finish the idea of of, of uh, sort of bringing the vision into play and uh, helping people get started. But I don't know how far we can carry the ball. Can I ask a question just to clarify? What we're talking about is um, an article that would have money for a field design, but not for the actual, you know, construction of a field, but would be to right. help design a field, whether it be turf or grass or a track or, right? Is that correct that's, that it would be? That is, no, that 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 is I correct. The, I think the preamble that we received and, and discussed was, um, you know, the engineer had come in and talked about a turf field. And I, I know I sound like I'm opposed to the idea of the, this field getting repaired, but, which I'm not. I spent many years trying to get it repaired and was unsuccessful <laughs> because there was no funding. Um, but I do feel, as a conservation, uh, former conservation agent, I feel a little concerned about uh, turf fields in that area. 
So for me, um, I think we're going too fast on this. I think I, I don't see the need uh, to go uh, till we could go till spring town meeting and pick this back up again, which would give us plenty of time to make sure that we're not um, getting into a quagmire. So th that's just my humble opinion. But, but can I just, uh, we're, we're talking about a uh, plan so that people can evaluate whether a turf field, I mean, I'm not a fan of the turf field either, but they're looking at a plan to see different options for that turf being one of them. Uh, if they went turf and CPC can't be used for turf, we wouldn't, they wouldn't be using CPC funds. But I think this is more about a tool to help people understand what could be done up there and the price for that, whether it be turf or just a simple field or just a track around a field or, you know, the various yeah. options. Because I think that's where people are struggling is thinking, oh, we can put a whole sports complex up there or we can just do one small field. Nobody really has their hands over that. So this is what my understanding is. This money would go to hire somebody to help develop a plan that's usable, you know, fits within the, the area, the use, et cetera. Yeah, yes, my, uh, my, my sense is that the, the limit of our committee is not, to, is not to pass judgment on what type of field should be at, at the middle school. At most, I think our role would be to recommend a sum of money be set aside for design fees for a renovated, reconstructed middle school and that the town through many other groups the board of selectmen the parks and fields and ultimately town meeting would decide one way of covering all of the bases at this early stage pending a completed application to review let's say in the next couple of weeks in my opinion is we could ultimately recommend a sum of money that um again i'm sorry i can't quote this but there are two sums of money. One, you know, one for the, the most expensive amount would be for a turf field. So let's say that's two hundred thousand dollars. Committee could recommend two hundred thousand dollars for design fees, and then if the and then if a year later the town itself, through Parks and Fields, the Board of Selectmen, and and and, and other bodies decides artificial turf is not the direction we want to go in, we do want to renovate that field. It's going to cost fifty thousand for design fees, and the remainder would just go back into the appropriate fund. I do agree with everyone's sentiment that it would be would be very presumptuous for us to say it's not our call what happens to that field. It's, it is our call how much money we would recommend for a design. I would be personally interested in seeing completed application to bring this part of the conversation to a clo to closure. If there were, and if this incentivized the groups to say, look, um, you know, we we we're all thrown off by what happened this spring, but. Um, Let's see what you can come up with, um, and then we can look at it with fresh eyes. Um, you know, late later this month, we 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 know the homework has been done. But the debate we would have as a committee is: Would we appropriate a sum of money, a ceiling that could cover artificial turf, if other groups thought was the best in the best interest of the town? Because the town would have to appropriate the money through what? borrowing to in order to do a a multi-million dollar turf field and. Would go that would certainly go beyond us. We have appropriated money for projects, and then when there's leftover money, it gets it gets swept. I do agree that it's something that needs to be completed. If we think that the groups that want to follow through on this can do so, um, so I think that I think the question for us now is: Would we want? Is is there a, is there a sense of um, a consensus around at least a placeholder? Pick this conversation back up uh, within the next two weeks. If nothing comes of it, then we take no action and we 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 move the uh, the design question to the spring. Well, I'd like yeah, to. Tom, um, I'm sorry, uh, Eric. Yeah. So I think at this point, the decision of what kind of field is so far away from anybody making because they still the the whole point of the whole thing is nobody knows who's going to maintain it. The point between a natural grass field and a turf field is if it's going to be a multi-use field, a natural grass field, we're going to just waste money on because within a year, it's going to be the same position it's in now because it gets too much use. That was the whole point of going towards turf. <laughs> now, the, it, there's just there's still so much open with it. I don't think it's, in my opinion, I don't think it's worth, you know, putting a placeholder because we don't know what direction it's going to go into. Even the direction it goes into, we don't even know who's going to maintain it. 
it's just it's the conversation has been stalled out for six to eight months. I think I think what Eric might be saying here, and I, I think I might agree, is that there's still work to be done before we know uh, enough about what we even want to design, never mind construct. Uh, we 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 all probably will be learning a lot in the next six to nine months about how anything related to schools gets funded. But uh, um, yeah, may, maybe it is too soon for a placeholder on this. Even though we all like the idea of planning, we want to inspire that and encourage that. Thank you, Phil. John, I'm sorry, did, I, I can tell if uh, a few people were talking at the same time. Oh, that's okay. I, I just wanted to make a motion to, um, you know, uh, to, Eric, to speak to Eric's point is that uh, I think we should um, wait till uh, different town meetings. So I guess my motion would be uh, to table this until uh, we have a full application. Okay, so there's a motion to table the athletic field design uh, article or project. Is there a second? I'll second, uh, Eric. Okay. Any uh, any discussion on this? So yeah, I'll just... I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I'd just like to say one quick thing. Um, in one sense, I think it would almost be a good idea to put it in as a placeholder and then remove it so that people uh, at town meeting are aware that uh, there's something going on related to this. I, I know I made that motion, but I'm just throwing that out there. <laughs> Teresa. So, sorry. so th this is Teresa. I, I was thinking the same thing. And, you know, Eric, I would hope that the Parks and Fields um, Committee is talking about this actively on a monthly basis. and. You know, it has stalled out for the last six to eight months, and the CPC is trying to do everything it can to push this question. You know, and I don't know who's driving it other than, you know, individual sports groups who are trying to pull things together. But, you know, I think that this is in the domain of the parks and fields, and it would be great to have them, you know, start advocating for the this field and, and, uh, and moving Fox, forward. Fox and Fields actually voted on recommending a turf field. But it was the discussion between the, because it's school property, it doesn't really fall into Fox and Field, so it wouldn't be our field to maintain. So there's a whole, in, no sports groups have contacted Fox and Fields about this field that I know of. Then uh, it may be that what was just said makes a lot of sense. The, there's an opportunity, uh, however brief and fleeting here, that we could put before uh, the voters of Hanson uh, some educational information, which is that uh, there have been uh, actions taken to begin uh, a thoughtful and appropriate design process for this underused and much needed area. And just to hear that, uh, it, it could sort of maybe soften the ground a little bit for whatever does get uh, proposed, let's hope next spring. Well, Thank so you. Phil, speaking to what you're saying, my thought was, that you know, even though we're 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 voting to 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 not um, you know put this as a on the placeholder as a warrant, uh, I think we should let the warrant go through, and then somebody uh, who's inclined to move this thing forward could um, take it back down. You know, just say uh, we'd like to table this to a further time with an explanation of why and that you're still working on it. Um, I think that would be a, a good PR thing. I don't know. So, so John, with with that thought, would you would you uh, withdraw your motion, and we would instead take action on a placeholder motion? So okay, so I'll make a motion to place the placeholder, right? But I'm concerned that um, again that I don't want it to go forward at this point. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, I so I think that I think put that in a line. <laughs> Sorry, Phil, just one second. So you'll, you'll withdraw your motion to table and Eric will withdraw his second. And then we will instead look at a motion with motion with reservation to uh, to recommend a placeholder. Is that fair? Yes. And I'll second it. But I made the motion so I can't. So. Was your motion? I do, I have a, do I have a second? To, Patty will second. To, thank you, Patty. OK, so the motion in the second is now set up a placeholder 
this athletic fields design article. Now we can open this motion up for any further discussion. I think so that I'm what you said, Tom, with parentheses, with reservation, captures what this group, this meeting is, is thinking. Uh, how we want the, the awareness to be elevated. We want design thinking to go forward, uh, but only when it's prepared to achieve something resembling success. We, uh, we, we're not sure about that, but the discussion and debate that will follow from do pulling a placeholder, I think will will meet our goals here. Okay, th thank you, Phil. And, and for, my, for my part, I would say that having a placeholder, I think is, a, I, I would support this uh, having a placeholder. We do have some research. We do know what the design costs were the worst case scenario would be that in two weeks time, we have a complete application and this committee will look at the merits of recommending to earmark a sum of money, which does not guarantee turf field. Does not. So if we, if we as a body recommended the larger sum of money and, and it was an earmark, and then the town took action on it at a later date, then that would keep all options open. Town could decide to say, nope, we don't want artificial turf. Uh, I think it begins with us agreeing on a placeholder, seeing if there's something to talk about in a couple of weeks. And if there isn't, then this conversation will uh, will will live another day later into the winter. So I, uh, I support this. I support this motion. Any other discussion? Okay, then we'll uh, move to a vote, and uh, we'll we'll do a roll call vote. Uh, John. Aye. Patty? With reservation. Yes. <laughs> Duly noted. Patty is aye. Teresa? Yes, enthusiastically. <laughs> <laughs> Eric? Yes. And Phil? Yes. Thank you. And I am also yes. So that is unanimous for those who are present. Uh, so thank you. Thank you for your time. Um, I will. I will now entertain uh, I'm sorry, before I ask for a motion to adjourn, while we're all on uh, our own little uh, Brady Bunch squares here, um, is there um, is, is a Monday night two weeks from now, um, seven o'clock, would that be an okay evening as best you can see? Would you mind taking a moment or if, there, if Mondays are generally bad and you had to really move things around, um, if there's a way we could secure at least a critical mass of, uh, of folks that might be available. Phil speaking here, Monday is the best by far option for me in this near future. Okay. Uh, I may have difficulty because uh, planning is on Monday nights. Uh, we're not regularly meeting. I don't know their schedule yet. So the, I may have a conflict at that point. So I'm not sure yet. Okay. So, yeah. I will, um, Teresa, Eric, I, uh, Patty, does Monday night... Uh... I, I can probably call in. Okay. Yeah, Monday's good for me. I will be able, not next Monday, I couldn't, I don't think, but the following Monday I'll be able to or call in or whatever. I'd have no problem with that. Okay, I'll ask Shirley to reach out to the full committee looking at, uh, let's say the 28th, 29th or 30th at the most and see and see which, which night fetches the most folks. And uh, uh, in, the, in the meantime, uh, We'll have an agenda with two items on it. Uh, one will be for the, uh, the trails item that Phil will bring to us. Mm -hmm. And the other item on the agenda will be the uh, field design. So members of the committee should expect that if we're going to have a discussion on these articles, on these um, topics, will be preceded by a, um, an electronic version of a completed application. And if we don't have that, then I think the sense from our, what, I, what we did tonight was to say, It'll have to wait for another time. So thank you for that. Uh, I'll have Shirley ask the group for 28, 29, 30 of September. Uh, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. So, so moved. moved. Motion by Patty, seconded by John. Uh, or Phil. All in favor? Phil. I'm sorry, seconded by Phil, excuse me. Uh, all in favor, John? Yes. Patty? Yes. Teresa? Yes. Rick? Yes. Bill. Yes. I am also yes. 
We are adjourned. 750. What's my phone say? 752. Thank you, everybody. Nice to see you and hear you. Thank you. Take care. Take care. Bye. Thank you.